Hi guys, somebody recently asked on the forum um, how to create their own library for customized cabinets and also wanted to know how to move products from one library to another and um, that's a good question. Um, obviously we have a ability to have multiple uh, libraries in Mosaic. Uh, in my Mosaic you can see that I have you know the original ones that come packaged with Mosaic but then I've also created my own um, which are really just copies of the ones that come in um, and then I add cabinets as I see fit okay um, it allows me to have you know my library organized the way I want I can add products um, and, and different uh, uh, things in here that I can use for my my own and I don't have to worry about them ever being overridden or or lost um, it just allows me to have an organized library but uh, so how do we do that um, it really depends on where you have your uh, your library stored uh, if you are using the uh, the file locations these are going to be on your cloud drive um, otherwise you're going to find these folders um, particularly the the product libraries folder in your C drive uh, so let me open up my my cloud drive which is right here um, this is where I have my my folder stored uh, if you are not using cl cloud folders you would uh, navigate to your PC uh, C drive and then look for mosaic and this is where you're gonna see all of the mosaic folders and then you'd be looking at uh, product libraries here okay uh, for my intent and purposes, we'll do this in in my uh, in my cloud drive. Let's see if I can get navigated back to it. Goodness gracious! So we open up our product libraries, and then you're going to see that all these libraries in here. I mean, this is really easy. Let's say you're working in Frameless V10, and you want to create a new Frameless library that's your own. All you need to do is simply just right-click that and copy it and give it a new name. Uh, that's what I did uh, with these um, and then you have all of a sudden a populated uh, a populated cabinet list now let's say I have a product that is let's say in my frameless cabinets library that I would really like to have uh, for instance in my closets library or something like that what I can do is I can go into my frameless library go under products and simply just copy uh, whatever product is that I'm wanting now I'm going to want to note uh, the name of the product because I'm going to need to remember that when I go to add it to the the closet library or whatever library I'm moving that product to um, but uh, you can simply just right click and copy that item and then paste it into uh, the library that you wish um, you know in this case I would paste it into my closets okay but just doing that does not add it to your closet library. You've got one other step uh, to accomplish to, to move that product. You would need to um, navigate to your product libraries. And in this case, let's say I did move it to my, um, to my closet library. I would find my closets. And then um, I decide where I want that in. If it's already organized, let's say I want whatever item I copied from my Framus library that I want in now in my, my closet library. Um, I would choose where I want that added okay in this case you know maybe I want it my floor sections um, what you can do is right click on this and then you're going to say add product and this is where you can create a new product with a new name here but this is where we would want to import so let's say I did in fact copy that item from my Framus library over uh, to my closets library I would then begin searching for that product name I would simply click on it and say open and it's gonna uh, populate the product editor here that's behind this pop-up um, and then you would be able to add the product so let's say this was an added product this is how it would come in you could then go through and set your different settings that kind of thing save any changes you need to um, you can click on that item use your up down arrows uh, to organize it as you can see that that product was moving up and down if you use your arrow numbers uh, you can do that and then within the library you can move parts around too by simply uh, uh, right clicking on them and you can cut and then paste them into different uh, categories if you want to add folders to your library to help organize you can right click um, just in this open space for instance um, you can add a folder to the closet panels or I can add a folder or a product uh, to the root 
category, which is really um, one of these master folders, okay, is what it amounts to. It, it would place it clear down here. But there's a couple of different options you can use for this, and there's some good videos out there on Mosaic's forum uh, that explain how to organize your library. But uh, uh, hopefully that helps. Um, kind of a quick, just a quick tutorial on, on how to accomplish that. But uh, uh, I would leave it with this. I would highly recommend... Um, you know, always copying a library over, you know, if, if say Mosaic comes out with another, you know, version 11 uh, library, when that comes in, copy that sucker, give it a name, you know, using your company name or whatever the case is, and then you've got your own personalized library, um, and then you can preserve the other ones, or you can delete them, or whatever the case is, but um, it's good to have multiple libraries, it is nice to have those products uh, separated and, and sorted, um, and it's very easy to add tons and tons of products to your library um, that way both from jobs and and also through the file structure that i was just showing you but other than that enjoy the rest of your weekend 